Here at TMR, we firmly believe in looking at art within the confines of film. You know, um, not only are political views extremely vague, but so are our political actions. That's right, boys and girls. Matthew over here once picketed in front of Coca-Cola demanding the return of Fresca. Mm. And I myself was known not to set foot in Spur, Belvoir for an entire two weeks when they took Icepine off the menu. Hey, I'm Matt. And I'm Pete. And welcome to that movie review. AKA TMR. Katoa has divided audiences. Despite garnering eight awards worldwide, this film has been accused of whitewashing, um, incorrect in its depiction of the Khoi tribes, and incorrect in its depiction of sexual violence towards women. What needs to be understood here is that um, the filmmakers are trying to tackle a whole number of issues in one sweep. Entertain an audience, you know, shed light on subject matter that, that's very rarely tackled, and then also overall just trying to do like some sort of balancing act of trying not to offend anyone. The result is a movie that gets it right but also gets it wrong. And in saying that, the film actually mimics the actions of its female protagonist, Kritoa, a co-interpreter under Van Riebeek's watch, who when trying to find the middle ground for the Dutch and the Khoi, often got it right and often got it wrong. Historical information is insufficient, one could say, and this, and this does two things to the detriment of the truth. It allows for creative liberties, and in doing so allows for justifiable end product. History, after all, um, or at least what's documented, still remains to be one-sided. This movie is a mixed bag, and in trying to appease everyone will end up offending people. This movie is trying to appease to its white audience and to its audience of color. It does this primarily by finally telling us a story of an important female figure, Kratoa, who plays a very important role, an invaluable role, um, in the relations between the Dutch and Khoisan people. On the other hand, it then also paints the governor of the Cape, Jan van Riebeek, as a somewhat tragic hero, you know, a man wrestling with himself. On one hand, you want to call bullshit, and yet on the other hand, we don't know what happened, it's almost 400 years ago. What is known is that Jan van often spoke of her and made reference in his journals to her. Some academics and historians have said that the manner in which he spoke of her is indicative of the fact that he likely slander. Kratoa covers three parts. It starts with you know, her childhood and how her uncle Auchumau, or Harry de Strandloper, um, basically giving her over to Van Riebeek to be acculturated. And then moves on to her rise as a gifted translator for the Dutch and her subsequent marriage to a Danish surgeon. The third part deals with her sad demise due to mistreatment from both sides, both Khoi and Dutch, and her eventual descent into alcoholism. The movie depicts things that were important then as much as they are now, like the division of people by race. I mean, that is really the very fiber of our country. Kroto was a pioneer, one could say, in her attempts at fusing cultures. You know, something that is still a hurdle in today's society. Kratoa is well cast. Crystal Donna Roberts from Stephen Delon framed as a great job as Kratoa and she's assisted by an excellent supporting cast that includes Brendan Daniels as Archimau or Harry Destrand Lubert depending on when you were in Stand 5, Armand Orkamp as, uh, Orkamp as Jan Van, Ernest St. Clair as um, Doman, a tribe member who she was meant to get married to. Mm -hmm. We also have Roline Daniel as Maria van Riebeck. Uh, who schools Kratoa in European norms and who doesn't quite stump Jan Van often enough. Jacques Bessinger as a mm. husband, um, Marcel van Heerden, I think. Is it? Yeah, who yeah, was cut funny lipstick, dipstick, but it's not funny uh, <laughs> in this movie in the slightest. As, yeah, as the it's quite, quite menacing actually. Quite menacing. It was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. And um, finally, uh, Leon Lotz. Ah! Yes. Yes, it's what a two way. But, uh, but the best kind of tool, like, you know, was, whenever he was on screen, man, I just loved it. He was, yeah. he was such an awesome. He was but a, I love it. He was a massive awesome. He was a big one. He was such a huge dick. Leon Lotz, you need to know that you played a huge... <laughs> no, you, you played a tool. <laughs> that little, little pencil thin mustache, you know, he's just... He's a cuck funny. He just looked the part, acted the part. Brilliant. Yeah, look like a duck, fuck like a duck. <laughs> <laughs> so all in all, I believe it's a good film. It's not perfect. 
I mean, the first hour really had me, it really gripped me, and then somehow after that, it kind of lost its way for me. It, uh, I understand what they were trying to accomplish, mm. um, but maybe it was just the subject matter was really bleak. I mean, it's a very bleak film, especially the way that it ends. Well, one can look at it in different ways. I mean, the way that it ends, it was so, it goes full circle in a sense, but you'll see when you watch it, which I really think everybody should. I think you should watch it. It's a really good, it's a very important film, uh, but it's also, it's a story that hasn't been told before, well, that I know, or at least this well. So go check it out. I'm going to give this film 7 out of 10. It's entertaining. Well, one, it's, one could argue it's not really entertaining as much as you can appreciate it for what it is. I, I agree with, with what Matthew was saying on with the 7 out of 10 over here. This isn't a perfect film. People will complain about historical inaccuracies and the depiction of characters and people, and that's fine. But don't let it blind you to the issues that are raised or the fact that this woman is getting the international recognition that she finally deserves. The only creative liberties stop you from seeing that this is a layered movie that raises many social and political questions. 7 out of 10. So that's it this week for that movie review. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and thanks for always taking the time to like, comment, and share our videos. We really appreciate it. 100% boys and girls, we'll see you next week, same time, same place, right here on TMR. Yeah, not quite. Foodsack.